Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to The Sanctuary. I'm your host, Professor C, and we're going to do some anatomy and physiology today. Specifically, I'm going to take us through another test yourself, pulling some multiple choice questions from cell biology to see if we can illustrate that we've learned something from the previous lectures. So let's check it out. In some types of muscle cells, calcium ions are stored in the... Well, this is pretty straightforward. We just went over this in our review. Uh, it's smooth ER, so let's just find smooth ER. No. There it is. No. No. Let's pick B. Ah, we win. Okay. Next, please. The type of RNA... Okay, so there's three types of RNA. T, RNA... R RNA and mRNA. So the type of RNA responsible for delivering amino acids to the ribosome from the cytoplasm is the T, right? The transfer RNA. That's who's going to bring the, like we said, they were kind of like the chefs who brought the ingredients to the ovens. So we're looking for T. M is not it. It is the copy of the gene. R is the ribosomal part of the, uh, the structure. And G, G RNA, what the heck is that? That's not even a real thing. Teat. There he is. Roll the dice. Let's pick D. No dice required, right? No luck required here. T, R, and A. Okay. What should happen to an erythrocyte if it is placed into a beaker of pure water? All right, this is an osmosis question, right? And we're looking for, does it swell? Does it shrink? And most people just flip a coin here. What I would do is like we did in lecture, draw a picture. Here's our little bucket of water. Remember this? There's reasons why we do this because it helps on tests. So there is our bucket of water. I'm going to take a cell, pop an erythrocyte, a red blood cell, right? Put it into the solution. It says it's pure water. Well, how many particles are in pure water? Zero percent. 0%. So no matter what's in here, and there's always some particles in the cell, it's what? It's greater than zero. So the hypertonic area is the cell, and the solution is the hypotonic area. And we know the rule is water always goes to where the particles are. Water should flow into the cell, and it should swell up. It might even pop. So we're looking for swell get bigger, maybe pop. Let's see. It will shrink. No, it will not do that. It will expand. Aha, yes, it will. So it will expand. Is there a better term? Divide? No, that's silly. That makes me laugh out loud. No. Shrink a lot at first, then slowly expand to normal. Well, that's goofy. That's a goofy answer. No. So B is it. Expand, get bigger, swell up. Boom, got it. Which of the following statements best, best, so there may be more than one, best describes the structure of a cell membrane? Oh boy, okay. <clears throat> we know it's got a phospholipid bilayer. It's got proteins embedded in it. Let's see what, where we're going here. A double layer of protein. No, nah, that's not a double layer of protein. It's phospholipid double layer. A double layer of lipids surrounding the nucleus. No, a, a cell membrane does not surround the nucleus. That's the nuclear envelope. It is a double layer of something, but that's not what we're talking about here. Double layer of phospholipids surrounding the cytoplasm. Wow, that sounds good. Actually, that sounds really good. Let's see if there's something that beats it. Intricate folds found within mitochondria. No, that's, that's cristae. Right? Folds within the mitochondria are called cristae. So it's got to be C, and it is. Okay. Okay. Which of the following structures are like small fingers aha, that extend from cell surfaces and help with absorption? Okay, no problem. We know if we have a cell surface and we see little fingers coming out, these are going to be either villi, or if they're teeny, teeny, tiny, they could be microvilli. And that's what I'm looking for, is some kind of villi. Cilia? No, those are little hairs that move. They don't help with absorption, that's for sure. Flagella is a movement thing you find on a sperm cell. It certainly doesn't help with absorption. Villi, there it is. And otoliths, no, we don't need to worry about those. Those are things found in the ear. 
that we'll talk about in a long time in our future. So let's go with uh, let's go with Vili. Yeah, we know what we're doing. Okay, let's move on. Crenation. Oh boy. Now the the thing is, you have to know what crenation is to answer the question. That's really the question: is do you know what crenation is? Crenation is shrinking. So crenation is likely to occur when erythrocytes, again, we got another osmosis question, draw the stinking bucket of water, right? There's the water, there's your cell. We're looking for it to crenate. We're looking for it to lose water. So in order for it to lose water, there has to be a lot of particles out here in the solution, right? Because water follows the particles. So many particles is hypertonic. So we're looking for hypertonic is the word here. And there it is. That should be the answer. A. Hypnotic. That's not even a word. We, that's not e any tonic word. That's that's hypnotic. Come on, man. Don't pick that one. Hypotonic. Nope. Isotonic means equal. So that's not it either. A is the, the winner right from the beginning. And it is. Which of the following organelles would destroy bacteria? I'm guessing that means, you know, bacteria inside of a cell because we're talking about the organelle doing it, not like a defensive white blood cell. So which organelle walks around cells and cleans up stuff? Well, the cleaner upper janitor guy is known as lysosomes. So let's find them. Nucleolus, no, that makes, that makes ribosomes. That's not it. Mitochondria makes ATP. That's not it. Peroxisome detoxifies and neutralizes chemicals. That's not it. Oh, I hope he's next. There we go. Isosome. Gotcha. Feeling good about this one? No problem. Which of the following is not a function of membrane proteins? Okay. We're just going to have to read through them and kind of take them step by step. Let's check them out. Transport. Yes, that is a function of membrane proteins acting as transporters. Receptors acting at yes, definitely proteins acting as receptors is true Anchoring they do that too, right? Membrane proteins do anchor down to elements of the cytoskeleton So I hope D is going to be something different making RNA. Yeah, that's a silly answer, right? Membrane proteins do not ever make RNA That's the answer All right Which of the following would not be a component of a cell membrane. And here's where on my test, I would sketch out a cell membrane very quickly. I just, you know, show some phospholipids like this. I'd show another layer of phospholipids like this. I'd put some protein in here and I'd remind myself there could be a peripheral. That's what I would do is just a teeny little five second sketch. However you can make it look. Glycolipids, yep, we find those on a membrane. We practiced this uh, at the end of our membrane talk. We did a, a fill in the blank kind of a thing, a labeling game together. Phospholipids, I would definitely expect to see those in a cell membrane. mRNA, again, I would not expect to see mRNA in a membrane, so I'm going to go with that for now because cholesterol is found in the membrane, so mRNA is my answer. And I got another one right. I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing just as well. Mitosis blank. All right. Mitosis is awesome. Oh, I don't know what they're going to say here. Let's try to figure this out. Mitosis is cell division. No, it is not, even though it's taught that way, right? Mitosis is not cell. That's cytokinesis. Mitosis is technically division of a nucleus. Mitosis allows DNA replication. No, it does not because... DNA replication occurs during the S or R phase of interphase, which precedes mitosis. Mitosis creates diversity. No, it does not. It creates sameness. It creates clones. Remember, we want our skin cell to become another exact type of skin cell, nothing different. So none of these are good. Mitosis is nuclear division. Bingo, bango, bongo. We got that one. Okay, your friend, you have a friend, right? I don't. Your friend was using a powerful microscope, cool, and located a cellular structure that consisted of nine triplets of long protein tubules. What organelle has she found? You didn't know your friend was a she? She is. What is that? Nine by three. It's not a mitochondrion. It looks like a jelly bean with a wiggle inside. Well, what are we talking about here? 
The sentry, all right. Raphael looks nothing like that. There's our sentry. Oh, there's my answer. I don't even need to see D, but I will just for fun. A flagellum. No, that's not a nine triplet. So sentry is our answer. Pow. Oh, do I have an answer change? How strange. How strange. Okay. If you were to transcribe, aha, being an RNA poly like you've always wanted to be, if you were to transcribe DNA sequence G A, -A T C A G into RNA, what would it look like? Well, let's let's do it. Let's that 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 would be a C, and a T, right? Nope, because we're going to RNA. So we need a U, a U, an A, a G, a U, and a C. That's what I'm looking for. C U U A G U C. Let's just look for C U U, and call it a day. That's not C U U. Oh, T's T's cannot be an RNA. No. Uh, not even close. I got more T's again. I can't get T's in RNA. It doesn't work. There's a C-U-U. Does the rest of it match? C-U-U-A-G-U-C. There's our winner. It really can't be anything else. And there's a C-U-G. Incorrect. So C's our answer. And we win again. Gosh, we have so many trophies. What are we going to do? Passive transport mechanisms imply, again, when you think passive, two things should pop into mind. No ATP required, and substances will move down their gradient from high to low. Let's check it out. Substances move down their gradient. Just said that. That would be, a, I would be tempted to say that's the answer. Let's make sure, though. Substances move against. Nope, that's active. Imply consumption of ATP. No, we, we, we consume no ATP in a passive mechanism. Use of a membrane transport protein. Mm, there is a type of passive transport that does use a membrane protein called facilitated transport, but any passive that does not imply that. So even though D could be argued to be a, a correct answer, A is much better because it covers every instance of passive transport, and D only covers one instance of passive transport. So it is the best answer. Mitochondria blank. Here we go again. Could be anything. Mitochondria are delicious. I mean, I, I don't know. Let's think what we know. Mitochondria have a double membrane. They have cristae. They help make ATP. They do aerobic cellular respiration. Okay, let's see if any of these match that. Mitochondria are paternally inherited. No, they're, they're inherited from mama, right? They're ma maternally inherited. They synthesize secreted proteins. Nope, that's what the rough ER does, and it's ribosomes. So mitochondria do not do that. Mitochondria contain their own DNA for specialized functions. That is true, although it was a minor point. It was true that they do have their DNA, and they do copy it independently of the cell. So that may be our answer. Assist mitosis by producing spindle fibers. Nope, that's what centrioles do. So the answer must be C, even though it's the weak, weak answer, it's the best of those four by far, and it is correct. Peroxisomes. All right, we know what these do, and again, we got the peroxisomes are great. Yeah, we need to figure out better what it might mean. We know they help detoxify. We know they neutralize peroxides. They're the hazmat crew. Let's see what we got here. Repackage proteins for later delivery. Nope, who does that? Well, that's the Golgi body, not a peroxisome. Assist mitosis by producing spindle fibers. Dang it, there's too many questions about centrioles, right? That's what a centriole does, is do spindle fibers. Detoxify, neutralize, that's exactly what we learned. It's got to be C, but let's check D, attack foreign cells. Heck no, that is not ever what a peroxisome does. C. DNA replication is amazing again we got to figure out what must go here this could be any number of things so let's not even try to guess what it might be let's just look oh we went backwards for some reason let's stop doing that can also be called mitosis no no replication precedes mitosis remember replication happens during the s or r phase of interphase mitosis is something different it's nuclear division it happens during interphase yes it does that's true that's, is that the best answer? Happens during anaphase. No, it does not. 
creates four copies of each chromosome. No, it does not. It just creates two copies, right? So we can have a full set for our offspring. So all those are wrong except for B. That has to be the answer then. The primary component of cytosol is, okay, this is very simple. It's got to be water. There's only one answer here. Water, water, water. Cytosol is the watery part. It's where the metabolism occurs. Let's find water. Nope. 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 Yep. Bingo. Next. What is a function of a centriole? Well, we've seen it about 4,000 times so far. It's to make spindle fibers to assist with mitosis. Make ATP? Nope. That's what a mitochondrion would do. That's the answer. Synthesize membrane proteins. That's what a rough ER would do. Digest foreign particles. That's what a lysosome would do. So B is the answer. Moving on. If a tRNA had an anti-code on us, draw this out real quick so we don't lose our marbles on some simple question. When in doubt, draw it out. If tRNA had an anti-code on ACG, okay, we got that part, which codon would it match with? So here's my mRNA. And I know that would match with tick, tick, tick. It would be a T, right? But it can't be a T because it's RNA. So U, G, and C. And there's my answer. And there cannot be any other answer there but U, G, C. So let's find it. Nope. There it is. Oh, no, it's not. That's wrong. That's U, C, G. I almost fell for it. U, G, C. There it is. We almost fell for a false answer. Okay. Boom. Got it. That's it. I didn't put an, in, an exit out. How'd you do? Did you do okay? I don't know exactly how many there were there. There's somewhere about 15 or 16. Doesn't matter. Try it again. If you didn't do so well, get better for the next one. All right. Uh, that's the end of unit three. Next stop on our tour is the tissues, a little bit of histology. So follow along with me on the next one. Bye-bye.